Alright, this is archived as you can see on the 5th of August 2020. Um, so this is 24 hours after the discovery document came out, asking for John to hand over all recordings or anything else. So at this time they had still had three videos up. There was an update on John where Nurse Jenny goes through, gives an update on him being in jail. But the really interesting thing is down here. Let's just read through it. So this was after Discovery came out. So Discovery came out on the 4th. This was a day ago, so this would have been the 4th right after it came out. Hi everyone, John's been officially charged with two counts of third degree assault. He got caught up with King County law enforcement and they're claiming that he intended to cause them bodily harm when all he wanted to do was protest and have a discussion with them. Uh, he threw a machete at them, first of all. Uh, he called the African-American one Uncle Tom and removed his genitalia, telling them to, come on, let's go, as quoted in the report. Uh, continuing, the shitty thing is he never actually touched them, but it's his word against the law enforcement, so the case is not tipping in his favor, especially with the other charges against him in his other case. He is hanging in there despite suffering through beatings, being undermedicated, and not allowed to receive medical attention. The KCCF website clearly outlines how to contact inmates by mail or video chat, and she goes into how you'd want to contact them. And then another interesting thing is the jail hasn't fixed the issue of his outgoing calls, so he unfortunately can't make those, despite my having deposited a good amount of money into his account. So the same person bailed John out with $5,000, and then two days later, John was on stream berating her, talking about how he's she's worthless to him. I've been here for over a year and a half. Fuck that. Why are you here? No, because you're afraid. No, because no. No, okay, but I want you to go to Rainier Beach. I can't. Okay, well then in the morning you're going back to Rainier Beach, and I'll call you after court. You're not gonna call me until court? Yeah, now because you keep fucking coming up here. Yeah. Yeah. If I didn't why? Do what I do as a minister. So John there is saying, like after she's bailed him out, you know, she's like, You're not gonna call me before court? He's like, No, not now, because you're annoying me. Manipulating her. I need you to be away from me until after I do my court shit. You realize that already recognized the possibility that they could buy a, a noise and gun and shoot through the fucking floor to hit me? What? Yeah, and I would be dead. They would be alive. And you would be really upset, wouldn't you? Now when it's because they're racist, heroin, and meth addicts, they decided to aim that fucking shotgun where they know I have a cow. You die, I feel like shit. I go to jail just because. John is basically saying, hey, you being here, you know, they could kill you and then it would be your fault because they would put me in jail just because. It's your fault. It's you. They go to fucking drug treatment court because they're a poor white boy that goes to jail for one thing. It happens every fucking day, man. I know the thing. Uh, yes. Good. No, because he's a fucking coward. Exactly. I'm not willing to take that risk. You are, and I understand that. I'm not. And you don't respect me enough to respect my wishes. I'm gonna go to bed in a minute. I wanted to do a 24 hour stream, actually, yeah. Yeah. to prove the part. So right there, John says, well, I want to do a 24-hour stream, but now I can't because, you know, you're here and I'm wound up. You made me angry, so it's your fault. And the fucking thing to be able to tolerate this if we were actually having sex, but we're not. We're making out of here, which for me is not bullshit. Remember, I lost my virginity when I was two and fucked my first house when I was 15. Yeah. 
Let's hear that again. It's fucked up, and he would tolerate it if they were actually having sex. So, I mean, it's just it's just manipulation. It's the whole thing is. But we're not. We're making out of here. So, he immediately goes to, but we're not having sex, so I don't have to tolerate this. Remember, I lost my virginity when I was two. I'm the victim. He's gonna tell her to go away. Not yet. But if she continues to act the way she is, by you know, like you gotta remember, he paid five grand, so she's trying to make sure he doesn't get into trouble. She's trying to make sure he doesn't stream. So he's saying to her, you know, I'm close to throwing you out, close to kicking you out of my life, unless you act a different way, unless you act the way I want you to. So I wanted to play that because as far as John's relations go, there's had to have been at least like four or five reached out, whatever else, and it always contains the same thing, right? That same interaction there. I mean, you just manipulate them, present yourself as the victim, and then berate them for, you know, making you the victim or being the cause of that. It doesn't make any sense, but it does work because they all say the same thing. Every single one has the same story, which is important because Anna deleting those videos, getting rid of them, in her own words, deleting them. And I checked a lot, and it's a good amount. And we'll play what I believe she probably got rid of. But the reason I wanted to play that was because she she's risking a lot for nothing. You know, if you have nothing to offer John, he's not gonna have any interest in you. He's gonna tell you to get the fuck out. And that's just the way John is. If she watches this or whatever, I would strongly suggest you make sure that you're doing everything legally, at the very least. And I don't know why you think you're different than the seven women that came before. All these issues are on all these legal papers, but you might want to think about that as well. So what possible reason would John tell Hannah to delete the entire channel? Hmm. I'm in control here, not you. Now, who wants to know my ideas about how to kill those unmarked fucking terrorists that are stealing people in Portland? Who wants to know how I would kill those motherfuckers? Because I'm ready to fucking answer your questions about how to kill fucking Gestapo goons. I'm sure somebody out there wants to know how to kill fucking fascists. Let them know. I'm ready to start training. Start training. <laughs> Class is in session. And I dare them to come in and stop me. I bet they're stacked up on the door. Who has access to a fucking steamroller? I bet you could plow that shit right through that front foyer. I mean, they don't necessarily have to be in the courthouse after dark, do they? But if that's where they're staging, that's what I'd do. I'd have some brave young patriot grab a piece of construction equipment and plow that shit right through a sidewall. That way you compromise the fucking structure so they can't stay there. Have them pull out and then you flood in. I would have guys with uh, fucking steel shields up front and right behind them, long rifles holding 30-06. I'd use 30-06 for their armor, should punch right through, leave a fucking uh, exit wound about that big in the back of a fascist. Blow their fucking lungs all over the fucking halls of justice. Any other questions? We're at war. The racists are trying to start a second civil war. I say we squash it. Let's kill these motherfuckers now. They're gathering in Portland. Slaughter them. Slaughter the racist. Slaughter the fascist. Slaughter the enemies. The tree of liberty requires watering from the blood of patriots and tyrants. Let's shed that tyrant blood. My name is Chaplain General John Bolden, founder and leader of the First International Secular Temple. I've been assaulted by multiple occasions. 
by Seattle and Everett police. I will not stand for this. If you come to my house, you better come in peace. If you come to attack me, get ready to fight to the death. Now your only option is to either shut the fuck up and let me do my thing or assassinate me. I'm ready to die. I will obey Judge Lisa Pagliacci for now because she has dealt with me fairly. But if she orders me to turn myself into custody, I will decline. These federal agents are undertrained. I could kill every single one of them without breaking a sweat. All I would need is about 20 men. If you are a friend of the movement, come to my home. I'll train you personally. I'll have a place for you to sleep, food for you to eat, and about three days of fucking training that'll turn you into a warrior like me. Pay what you can afford. Take what you are given. Leave only footprints. And I'll take care of you. As soon as I'm off probation, I'm moving to Ojai, California. And I'm going to set up a training camp for all protesters against this fascist Trump government. We will take our country back by force if necessary. If they silence dissent, if they take away our voice, then we will have no choice but to turn plowshares back into swords and kill our masters. That is not a threat. It is a promise and it is a warning. Don't fuck with us. Don't fuck with us cops or we will kill every single one of you. Don't test us. We've done it before. We'll do it again. That is not a threat. It is a promise and it is a warning. Don't fuck with us. Don't fuck with us cops or we will kill every single one of you. Don't test us. We've done it before. We'll do it again.